Good morning folks, welcome back to the channel Fishing with Norby, it's championship tournament day, day three here on Lake of the Ozarks. Wife came out to watch the takeoff. How We're you doing? so excited. And scouts out here. Woo! Yeah. We're gonna get them. Let's go get them. Scout, you gonna pound it? Sit down. You gotta pound it for tournament day. That's for a five pounder on that side, five pounder on this side. Oh. Oh, all right. I'm excited. We are going to drop her off, pick up our camera guy. He's going to be filming all day, uh, rolling on MLF Live. We're in fifth. We are in fifth. We're only three pounds out of the lead, hoping to uh, move up. Let's win this thing. That'd be so awesome. What a blessed event it has been so far. I'm so excited. But we're going to get things rolling here this morning. 50 boats fishing today, and it's a Saturday on Lake of the Ozarks. It's gonna be 87 degrees. It's been cold, colder, like 40s the last two mornings. It's beautiful this morning. It's already 63, Party Boat Central. They're doing a poker run, big yachts out there today. It's gonna to be rough. We have to run 25 minutes this morning. Might save some time to come back a little earlier. So, let's get started. Let's go have some fun, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. Let's go catch them. Feeling good, feeling good. Banky's over here rigging up. What you putting Order. on? I just changed some things up a little bit. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They don't eat that. They don't eat that. Nope. Nope. Hey, congrats on making the top 50, Thank bro. You, Thank you. Good You're job. Gonna go crush them today. You are too, man. You flat. moved. You were sitting in what yesterday before? I was in 113th. 113th. And I jumped to 45th. What a comeback, yeah, dude. Man. Good job. That's my MO. Good job. <laughs> I tend to dig myself a hole <laughs> and then crawl right out of it on day two. Yeah, good job, man. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. I'm excited to get out there today. I could barely sleep last night. I was ready to go. Yeah, dude, yeah. go crush them. Yeah, man. I know you're going to. Hey, thank you. Yeah. We're, we found those fish in the same area. He caught them later in the day there. They only have five bites, but they were the right ones. He had over 16 pounds. We're going to start. We're going to start on some brush. Hopefully get a couple big bites we're only going to give it about an hour and then we're going to go fish some new water i'm excited it's going to be fun it's going to be a lot of fun let's get out there oh i also have robert with us you ready yeah got all it. right there you go. here we go that thing's heavy how much that weigh uh, about 25 pounds or something 25 pounds yeah. you gotta have that on your shoulder all day all day, all day. And you times 30 years of doing it. Yeah, that's why I leave it. How many pounds is that? <laughs> that's a workout right there. That's a workout. All right, let's go crack them. Yeah. All right, guys. We got our bed fishing deal. Little Strike King Beaver. We got our jig. You know the deal. That's been the big fish bait. We got our wacky rig. And we got our backup shaky head over here. Then if we have any last minute thoughts, we got a drop shot, whopper plopper, jerk bait, big swim bait, ready to go. What are you using? You, you doing it. it too? You gotta have it. Dude, 
You, you put it on your jig yesterday? Yeah. It was crazy. They would bite it the first throw after I threw it on. I, I, I roll almost every single bite that I had, I put more on. Nice. There was even still like glitter and stuff on Dude. it. And I was just like a little bit more. They were talking anything. about it like crazy on the live yesterday. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. It's the deal. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it, for some reason it doesn't show it until I stop recording. Ooh, it is beautiful this morning. Here we go. We're about to catch them, folks. We're gonna pull up, and it's gonna go boom. I think it is. I think a lot of them are in the spawning mood, which we're gonna do a lot today. And the ones that are pulling out are just on the move. I thought they'd be set up in these brush piles more than just one day and ready, ready to eat. I'm trying to catch these post spawners. I had a lot of fish on bed that were off the bed yesterday. I already spawned out. They are not in the mood to eat. There's big ones though. We've come by. We've come by enough fish to win this tournament already this morning. <laughs> that's the that's the frustrating part, but that's all right. That's the good and the bad about live scope. Yeah. I'm gonna try something that doesn't flap. Give him something different to look at. Just throw a little beaver. Yeah, I don't see the pollen yet. We'll throw a little beaver on, switch it up on. Give something a little more dead looking. No action. The old Strike King. <laughs> That's awesome. You gotta throw that in the video. So far out there. Small. Came with me when I set that hook. I don't think he's going to keep. He might keep. He might keep. Fat. <laughs> Number one for the day. He's going to be right around 14 and a half. <laughs> he's got a short and stubby tail. 14 and a half. Hey, we just switched it up. We just put on less of a flapper. Got bit, third cast. Maybe that's gonna be the deal. Well, we fished one whole cove of brush already. Left it, didn't get a bite. One little bite, but might've been a crappie. And now we're in the second cove. Gonna give it a little shot here before we go up shallow bed fishing and wacky rig fishing. Man, I really love to catch them this way because we can catch some real good ones.
That's a good one. Oh, he's behind the thing. Oh, man. Get off. Get out of there. Dang it. He got me caught up. I don't think he's on there anymore. Woo! It went tunk. I set the hook and pulled him, and then it just stopped. Came out. Something just tapped it, I think. That's two bites real quick, though. Got retie. Oh, that's all scuffed up there, too. Make sure you check your line further up than the first foot. Fishing brush like this. Sink down behind it. Four or five feet. Set the hook. It's going to... It could scrape that whole section. Back at him. Oh man. <laughs> they get you behind that brush. I think you think they're a big one every time. That dude has a, a problem with eating too many lures. Look at the side of that mouth. He's 14 and a half. Ooh. He's on that lure grind. He's probably been caught eight times this week by the looks of his mouth. Poor guy. Still trying to eat. Well, we're getting a few bites. That is a good thing. Made that little adjustment. It's been working. That's a better one. That one should keep. There's a fatty. Figured a little something out, guys. That small little adjustment. Big difference. Big difference. He's close to 16. There we go. Number one going in the box. Been waiting on number one. Fatty. That'll work. Thank you, Lord. All right, got the skunk out. That one's pretty torn up. I'll throw another one on because if it falls down, they're not going to eat it. The old KVD rodent coming in hot. Watermelon red. Classic right there. Throwing a three inch. That's why I got rigged up to throw on these beds later today too. And then we're adding some of that thump gel saw it yesterday if you weren't on live yesterday it was pretty cool and day one you didn't get to see live but in my youtube videos you'll get to see it do some real work andrew banky was fishing in this cove yesterday he caught 16 pounds in here on it we both found the same area in practice he moved up from 113th to 45 and made the cut today rocking it subtle little difference like that same jig crazy i tried brush hog i tried a finesse worm i tried the jerk bait drop shot and then you pull out the same jig slightly different trailer same color went from the three inch rage tail which they munched day one to this and it's getting slurped pretty cool pretty cool that's fishing 
Some, sometimes you can figure a little something out, sometimes you can't. Well, the last two days we've had a boat start in front of us in this back section. And I've had to skip over it because he's just been sitting in it. It's a good section. They haven't seen my jig, so I'm going to roll through there real quick. We'll see what happens. little guy catching a few folks catching a few baby definitely figured out a little something to get a few bites we just need a couple big ones now folks this is a new pile somebody's been sitting on this the last two days that's been in our tournament haven't got a chance to show my throw my jig in it he's here been here both days thank you lord that is awesome i'm gonna weigh him real quick weigh that first one that's the kind we're looking for first couple piles i show up to that i haven't fished catch this one they get burned quick. You throw in them one day with that jig, they don't want it the next day. All right. I'm about to look. Look 344. I'm going to guess this one's so fat for a little dude. I think he'll go two, 210. He's like five and a half inches. I'm going to guess two. He is two pounds and ten hundreds exactly i got it on the dot that's crazy We're, we switched our bubba scale to hundreds and man that fish that we just caught his tail still bleeding just came off the bed we'll put a cold tag on that little dude all right here we go patience paid off could have ran out here could have started fishing that wacky rig but just felt like I should come back for a little further. Time's ticking, but we got all day. We got a shorter day. With all the boat traffic they're gonna have, we gotta give ourselves an hour to get back. We're way up in the gravoise. Gravoy? Gravoise? Gravoise? What is it? I wanna know. <laughs> I asked the local, he said it's both. <laughs> Nick Alt told me both can't be both somebody's gotta let me know if you hear him talking i want to know <laughs> all right thank you lord we've been staying in the gravoy arm all week we practiced all over but this is where the brush fish have been biting for me all right next pile good one. oh he's got he got a lot lighter either he's coming at me or it's a good one it's a decent one he was just coming at me all right thank you lord two in a row two in a row it can happen quick. 
This is where that dude sat two days in a row. I was wanting to get in here. 240. We are getting in here today. Number three. Now let's get a couple giants to go with it. Got me all excited. You hook them far out in a brush pile. It's no telling how big they are. Yeah, so I'm still fishing brush piles. I was planning to be fishing shallow fishing beds by now, but we ran into a three and a half and we have two over two pounds, so not too bad. We really just need two really big bites and they can happen in what I'm fishing. So I'm still fishing brush and they're starting to bite. I switched my trailer and started getting some bites from a three inch rage crawl to a three inch rodent with no action. And that is what they want today. It's kind of crazy. I couldn't get one single bite on the rage crawl. They would just follow it and turn away. And then I threw this on, caught three keepers within 20 minutes. You're good, you're good. I'm gonna go on up. How you doing? No, no, you're not in my way at all. I'm actually about to idle after this cast on up there. You guys, hope you catch them, huh? <laughs> you're good, man. We got three. We need a couple big ones now. Hope you guys catch them. All right, now we're gonna move. Not too far. But, a few minutes, maybe. All right, I'm gonna idle around the corner. All right, we're gonna move. That's gonna help. All right, thank you, Lord. There we go, number four. That'll work. Let's weigh it. Shout out to my wife for supporting me. We're here on day number three and she puts up with all of this tournament stuff going on. It's a lot of travel, it's a lot more than people think. And the first year doing it, we're trying to figure it out. It's been fun. Shout out to uh, just my family, mom and dad for always supporting me along the way. And day number three in the pro circuit, living the dream now. Actually living the dream. It's a blessing. All right, that fish was two pounds, another 210. Number four, going in the old G juice water. One more good one. Another little point here with some brush on it. We've caught all our fish in brush today, again. But I do want to wacky rig all these stretches I found in practice. They have some good fish. People are catching them on beds. I got to do what I have confidence in, but I have confidence in these stretches and we're going to go hit after this. And we're just going to switch the whole, whole day up gonna wacky rig I'll throw in the brush if I see it I didn't fish any of the brush the stretches we're going to 
but it's not really in the same part of the lake here. And I didn't get bitten brush anywhere else. Maybe something changed on the rest of the lake and they'll be biting. But we'll catch a few betters, hopefully. Hopefully a few biggins pulled up on those two pound males I marked. We got a lot of two pound males marked and who knows what, what could pull up with them. And some three pound males. And they could, most of them could be gone. We could find some new ones. We're just gonna go looking. Might have to do a little blind fishing as the wind is picked up, it's not sunny. A little blind bed fishing with that wacky rig. Sun's coming out for us. Just in time. Just in time. What? Help you. Yeah, we're gonna go bed fish a little bit. We're gonna move right now. that was if it was a little guy or if it was a good one you don't know there it is yep and that's a good one he might keep he's a humpback he's a little guy <laughs> they always feel bigger on that spinning rod i don't know if he's gonna keep because of that hump in his back but he's gonna be close Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Barely, wow. A little humpback for uh, number five. Got him on the scale. He bit twice. Stole the Senko the first time. We threw right back in there. That one's gonna be cold. We got a 171. I'm feeling good about this afternoon now. Our first stop. Second dock bit. And then start biting. Sun's out. I love that sink. We are using the KVD Ocho Senko, that green pumpkin, gold and purple flake. Gotta throw back in there. I can't see the bed, but there might be a bigger one with that one. Won't need that the rest of the day. Line's all scuffed up. Even those little ones, their teeth will get your line. Crazy. Spotted bass are the worst about it. We're using 12 pound P line fluoro. Using a little, I like using a little Nico hook on my wacky rigs. I messed up. <laughs> messed up tying the knot. Gotta have a good knot. Cannot have a bad knot. Okay. If they're gonna bite like that on all these stretches we got, we're about to catch a lot of fish. Thank you, Lord, for number five. Here we go. Right next to that cement piling. And there, there I go missing it. Remind me not to boat flip any over a cable bigger than that one. Because my line was shredded from his teeth. That's crazy. Feisty. They get that Senko. They get that hook down their throat and their teeth just, when they go back and forth, just fray it. Some good line though. Marshall boat flipped that one with that P line 10 pound yesterday. We got number five. 
Only go up from here. I'm excited. I got a lot more stretches. I haven't done this at all in the tournament. No. It's a dark spot on the bed, but it's not a bass. I don't know. I think it's just a dark rock. There's a little bass on there, but I he's got a dark spot behind him, so I thought there was a bigger one with him. There's a bass on bed there and there, and there's one. That one's better. Nope. Gosh. Oh, I've been throwing that bait cast around so much pick this little spinner rod up they all feel big i don't think he would beat a 170 he's only 14 and a half man we've caught a lot quick no wonder those bed and fishermen are doing so hot they're hot and heavy up in here What'd you say? Said you gotta fish this cable cable labyrinth though. Yeah, you gotta watch out for the cables. <laughs> Starting to get a little warm too. Now it feels like it's gonna get 87. Yeah. <laughs> Every fish? Wow. Yeah, I would have done this the whole tournament, if that was the case. That one, that one's fat, but he's not going to help us. He's not, four, he's not 15, I don't think. Every ounce matters. Four, oh, 14 and three quarters, closer than I thought. We gotta retie after that fish. Or you have to step over the Yeah. Cooler and get like over. they're a full seat. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice boat. I love it. Can't tell on this one. He had a big roll. Nope. Yes. That is a skinny dude. That one might have measured. He was close. He was skinnier than our humpback, though. See how many of these we can hit before the day's over. I've got a few stretches that are holding them. There's no way that's a bass. There's a giant fish. I can't tell what it is, but I think it's a carp. Yeah. It'd have been like a seven or eight pounder. Right. Yeah, that'd be more than all right. Is 
that one might pull. Maybe. Oh, wrong button. I think that one's gonna pull. Yeah, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. We got a 170 hump back in there. This one looks like he's about 170. Oh, two even. All right. Says we have 12 pounds even. We didn't even have 12 pounds last time I thought we did. All right, number five. Getting rid of the hump back. Sounds like a little fish. <laughs> hey, yep. He uh, ran into a few rocks growing up. He's a crawfish eater. We're catching them. We're catching a lot of fish now. Since we came over and started fishing the old Ocho Senko, we have caught probably about 15 fish in 40 minutes two keepers i saw a giant swimming down here but i couldn't tell what it was it's a bass no not a giant there's another bass though it's about a two pounder it looks like there was something big though I'd like to get another look at whatever that was. Hang around if it's a bass. So deep. They're in about four feet, four and a half feet. Of course, that's when it bites. That's the one we need too. I already have my graphs down. We were ready to leave. Don't break me off, buddy. Don't be doing that. Thank you, Lord. All right. There's a three. There we go. <laughs> we were just about to leave. I was getting a granola bar out to eat on the run. Letting my Ocho soak. Smacked it. Oh, I wasn't zeroed. Now we're zeroed. He is 340. Gets rid of that one we just cold with. Smallest fish is 210, and we have two of those. That's 13 and a half. 1340, that's what we have. All right. Thank you, Lord. That's Derek. Yeah. Derek Hudson. Hey! What's up? What? Hey, man. You got five? Yeah. Nice. How you doing? What? Yeah. Did you already catch... Did you already catch... Do you already catch the one over here? You care if I go over there? Good job, man. Nice. What do you got for weight? That's what I got. 12 on the dot. You too, man. I just called out with a three on the wacky doing the same thing. 
I didn't see mine though. Oh. Well, I'm glad you got that one. Forget the mail. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move. I would dove from one hundred one. using these Mach 2 rod and reels, seven foot medium heavy. Actually, these ones are seven foot mediums for this wacky rig and the drop shot. And they work great. They're really good price. The reels are excellent. Rods, lightweight, really good action. Mach is powered by Lou's but it's built for the new generation of anglers. That's, that's kind of the motto behind Mach. And Mach has some really cool stuff we're releasing coming up uh, early 2024, February. We're coming out with some really cool baits, uh, some, some new designs and some fish catchers. And we're working on those right now. A group of us, they're pretty sweet, but you guys can be part of that Mach Nation and get your hands on these prototypes and the early access and and we got a new rod and reel coming out called mock jacked if you didn't see it at the classic it is sweet uh or i think it's coming out at icast maybe but it's awesome it looks so cool get pumped for that but the baits are going to be sweet but go sign up um mock is also hosting a tournament every month this summer you got may june july and august four tournaments on fishing chaos platform i could be scoring these fish but i'm not taking the time to do that in the tournament right now but y'all go sign up look it up you'll find it i don't have time to to paste the link i'll, I'll paste the link in the the description of my video when i post it but you should be able to find it if you search it on the fishing chaos platform sign up for the tournaments and the mock nation group be part of the first access to our new stuff coming out <laughs> i thought you about stepped off the edge it was a balance thing the boat the boat was maybe thinking i was going somewhere i wasn't but <laughs> Okay, what's he doing down there? Oh gosh, that's the one we need. That's the one we need. That's gonna help us a lot. Stay down, buddy. All right, oh my gosh. I don't know what happened there. He got smaller too, but he's pushing three. <laughs> my rod stayed in the boat. How did that happen? <laughs> wow, I have my net over here, grabbed it. Flung this rod in the water. It stayed on the net. Saved it. We got, look at the belly on that. Pre-spawner off the corner of this float. That one's pushing three. We need ones that are gonna cold. When it came out of the water, I thought it was over four though. It had a, it looked like a hefty fish. He's not as big as I thought. 252. Cole's out a 210. We're over 14 pounds now, just barely. Cole's out number two. Thank you, Lord. That Bubba scale lets me know exactly what number to reach for and Cole out quickly. There's the Cole. All right, we're over 14 pounds now. 14, 17, 
That's what my scale said in the hundreds. I like keeping it in hundreds because it a little more accurate. You get a 220 and a 218, you want that 220. Might tip the extra ounce when they weigh it in ounces. I thought that fish was over four when it came up. That's pitiful. Just kept getting smaller. Oh. Stepped on my reel. Well, that's not the one we're after. The one we're after is not on bed back here anymore. But it's a fish, and it's fun. And that spot is cutting my line up. Wanted that Senko. That's a fat spot. Pretty. Probably gonna have to retie on that note. So many bluegill and shad swimming around here right now. Yep, got to retie. Well, in practice, we had a two and a half and a three pound male. Two different beds back here behind these docks. First time I've come back, they're gone. Tons of bluegill and shad. They're just swimming around. We're gonna make a long skip. Maybe something else moved up on the back side of this long marina dock. We got a few more beds back in here of some some three to four pound males that we found the last day of practice. So it's been four days. A lot could have changed. Some big females could have moved up with them. We might catch both of them. I don't know. Oh, something had it. Long skip back over there. That's the cast if he's there. See all those big shad in the water? So cool. None of those were here in practice. Well, we're out of time. Did you, uh, ah, never mind. I'll be all right. Trying, trying. I bought my first boat freshman year of college. So, 10, 10 years. 16 and a half foot fiberglass bass tracker. I took that thing all over the country fishing college. Yeah. Okay, we are just back in, just checked in, ready to go weigh our fish, 
I'm excited we had a good day. We have over 14 pounds, so we did a little better than yesterday. I'm really excited to see where that puts us, but we have to wait until the fifth from the end to weigh in. They do the top 10 in order, so count it down to one. But good day, we started out in the brush, and we ended up catching that big one out of the brush and two decent ones, and then we went wacky rig fishing, cold out, caught our limit, cold out. Look who it is. What's up, baby? How you doing? doing? You look pretty. Scout. I did for you. Scout been watching out for you. I've been watching you all day. You've been watching me all day. All right, well, we're gonna go weigh in. I'm excited. All right, here we go, down to business. He was your day one leader. He's weighed in the biggest bag of the event so far with 21 pounds, eight ounces out of the gates on day one. Had 13.12 yesterday from Gunnersville, Alabama, but loves this lake. Let's hear it for Andrew Nordby. You got to check him out on social media. He blows it up. Great job. He's got the two E's, education and entertainment. That's the two E's, baby. Education and entertainment. It's what it takes to make successful social media, man. You're the one of the best at it. Well, here's the deal, man. Listen, you had that big bag on day one. Ron Nelson, the king of the hill, and he's awfully comfortable right now. He says, I ain't going nowhere, Andrew. It's kind of like... Michigan versus Alabama. You need 17 pounds, three ounces to dethrone Ron Nelson. Put yourself in contention for the win. A five bass limit worth. <laughs> 14 pounds and six ounces. You got anything in there we need to take a look at, Andrew? Absolutely. Hold a few up. Andrew Norby is in third place. Third place. 49 pounds and 10 ounces in three days. Lake of the Ozarks. Well, let's go out front. Let's go out front and talk about Andrew. Just use your pants. That's, you're an angler. That's what we do, man. Hey, a great week this week, man. You caught that 21 pound bag out of the gates. That kind of set the tone to, to get you a top 10 finish. It's been a phenomenal tournament for you. Yeah, yeah, it was super exciting. I found a little uh, sweet spot in practice. I was getting bit in eight to 12 foot brush in this one little area using a Strike King finesse jig, three inch rage crawl and uh, crushed him. Only fished half my brush and got out of there. Went fun fishing, pulled out twice. Amazing day, day one, blessed day. And then yesterday, they shut off. I think uh, they just got a little finicky. I fished new brush yep. and caught what I had. And then today I went back in there and I switched the raised craw out to a little uh, rodent, a three inch rodent, and they didn't want the flappers today. I caught three out of the brush again and then went wacky rig and caught about 30. That's breaking it down for us, right? We love that intel, man. Well, you've had a great week. You've got had a great year. We're going to Potomac River next, man. Go win that thing. 
Hey, I hope so. I've never been. I'm excited. You're due for a W, man. It's coming. I promise you. You keep putting yourself in contention in this position, and good things will happen. Well, any final words for an, an unbelievable crowd here at Osage Beach or anybody watching anywhere in the Major League Fishing Universe? Your time, Andrew. You bet. Just chase your dreams, everybody. God's got a plan for you, and uh, chase your passions he's given you. And I love you all. Thank you so much, and God bless you. We're going to get out of here. See you, to, see you at the next one. Love this guy, man. Great job, Andrew. Check him out on social media. Andrew Norby. And in second place on the hills of John Cox. Let's hear it for Marshall Robinson. Woo! Keith, just come on back up. It's going to be close. Now here we go. Marshall, to take the lead, to put yourself in contention for this win with one guy left, that guy being John Cox. To dethrone Keith Carson, you need... 16 pounds and 15 ounces. Here we go. Watching right here. The five bass limit. Worth. Fifteen pounds and fifteen ounces. Keith Carson survives another one. Making money in the game he loves. There's your weight ticket. Great tournament. I guess the one question is, did you have the one fish on at any point in time this week that could have got you over the hump? Maybe won it. Uh, I don't think so, man. I, I was lucky enough to have good execution all week, and I didn't lose any big ones. Uh, my only problem today was I had a, a 110 in there, um, and I worked a four-pounder for almost an hour because I knew it, it, it gave me a good shot, you know, and it, it just never happened, but um, sometimes you, you can't force it. You can do everything you can and make all the best decisions you can, but, I mean, you can't force it, so I'm, I'm happy how the week went. What a great year you're having, man. Another paycheck with Major League Fishing. 28 top tens, nine-time title slash Sportswood Cup qualifier, and he won one of those. He's a former Forcewood Cup champion. He with Mark Rose, six times they have won on this circuit. A six-time Tackle Warehouse champion. This guy catches them all over the country, everywhere he goes. Between all the circuits that he fishes, his name is a staple in the top ten. It is John Cox from DeBerry, Florida. John, let's go talk for a minute, because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Your fish are taken care of, they're in water, and so if this doesn't go your way, and I know this is painful, because that's your brother sitting down there in that Phoenix hot seat. Oh yeah, I mean, that man, I mean, me, me and Keith have fished together for a long time, and I've dreamt of this day, you know, thinking it was a dream, you know, where we would be one and two in a tournament. And uh, here we are, and uh, man, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I've practiced the dirty water all week because I thought it was going to pour. Sun came out, he said, hey, come down where I'm at. There's a bunch of fish, and uh, you know, we didn't see each other the, the last three days, but we fished the general the same area. 17 pounds and nine ounces. Your champion is John Cox. We're just getting back from Missouri. Towed the boat and truck back here at Fort Randy. How you doing, Andrew? Boy, we had a good trip, didn't you? Man, it was. Congratulations. Thank that's you. awesome. It was blessed. Yeah. We got seventh. That's the best finish in a pro tournament right. so far. We're watching you. Thank you. We keep an eye on you. We appreciate you. <laughs> it's been fun. That was a good event. Yeah. I had a camera boat, camera man in my boat, drones flying around me. Wow. All, all event. It was cool. Going big time. It's televised. It'll be yeah. on CBS Sports and wow, everything. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah, we, we're excited for you. Thank the future's you. bright for you. Oh, I appreciate God's it. God's going to lead you to big things. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, he will. He will. And we got, a we addition, got, wait and we got some addition to family coming, sounds like. Yes. Yeah, we're proud yes. of that, too. And we're uh, about to announce the genders of those, so be looking on a video coming out. Yeah. Yeah, pretty exciting. But we're excited here at Gibbon Ball Ford. You know, we got a, plenty, yes. a lot of inventories in now. Got several Broncos that everybody's okay. been looking for. And those new ones, ones, those are yeah. slick. Yeah, we got some new and some pre owned ones. Okay. And our F 150s, which pulls the boats. That we, yeah. And yeah. 250s, we, we've we got a good selection of those. Okay. So anybody looking, come by and see us. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, come, come check out Gilbert and Ball Ford. Tell them Norby sent you. They're here in Albertville, Alabama, right next to Gunnersville. Yeah. Anywhere in North Alabama, they serve. Beautiful Lake all Gunnersville. Over. Fishing Beautiful. capital of the south. It is. It's it fishing is. good this year, yeah, too. Yeah, it's really Randy. good. Yeah, it's awesome. Hear a lot of good things. Yes. Yeah. Well, I appreciate no, you. I'm Thanks excited for, for you, brother. The yes, truck sir. Today. And, uh, yeah. Y'all come see us at Gibber Mall Ford Novel. Thank you, Randy. All right, brother. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. God bless you. What an amazing event. Super grateful for that finish. But back to the next tournament. We're towing this rig all over the country this year. It's been fun. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Only like 10% of my viewers come from subscribers. So make sure you subscribe if you're watching this. Appreciate that. And we're going to get out of here. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next episode. Fishing with Norby.